YouTube, it's me, Jen, your Pudgy Picker, here with a haul. Yes, it is not a Monday haul, but I had to do some errands, and of course, I happened to be by a Savers, so yeah, I went in. <laughs> Actually, I went in for a few specific items, which I will show you. I wanted to get some stuffy toys for Baby Beans. She likes to tear up <laughs> toys. And I'm not buying expensive toys. So, yeah, we'll just keep my daughter in the evening. We'll sit and repair them, <laughs> get more life out of them. So everything on the table I got for 20% off. There's one item on this table that was a birthday gift. I'll have to tell you what my son got me and what my husband, Mr. Pudgy Picker, is going to get me. Um, I am like going practical with gifts. I told people, either invite me to go somewhere, go see a movie or something with me, or let's go for a hike. My daughter loves to hike. I'm like, let's do something instead of just giving me stuff. So gift cards and experiences is what I want from now on. So let me show you that item. So my daughter got this type of gift for my son and his fiance uh, as a like joint wedding gift, not a wedding gift, uh, an engagement gift. And this is an unsolved mystery. So you open it up and you go through like the objectives to crack the case. And I always love watching, you know, like a lot of those crime shows. So I have no idea how much this was, but that's what she got me. My husband uh, says, I don't know what to get you. And I said, get my car detailed because <laughs> it needs it after the winter and going into garage sale season. So I'm thinking after garage sale season winds up, he'll probably do that. And my son got me a, uh, a it's not a dy uh, Dymo uh, labeler, but it is a really nice labeler for uh, my eBay labels. I got one in a gift box from Bulk. Uh, B-U-L-Q, when I uh, did a video about them, it did really well. <clears throat> they sent me a box of goodies, and it was a Dino, Dymo one in there, and I sold it. So my son said, I'm giving this to you, but you're not allowed to sell it. That's what everybody tells me. But anyway, so that was my birthday. Um, my uh, kids and my hubby and their significant others uh, took me to uh, eat tons of crab legs so that was my birthday dinner we had a good time so wanted to share that with you so let sh let me show you the other things that I got this package had these two I don't think this is gonna work for the dog just because the eyes um, I think this should do good it's kind of a ball the Angry Birds so that was a dollar fifty for $2.99, 20% off. I have, I think, some of these listed or I sold them. But they are pretty old. Oh, I should get to see in here. Uh, I think, like, made in Japan napkin rings. So this is what they look like. They have a bird. And then on this side, they have a butterfly. Yeah, made in Japan. So these are vintage. And so I think, I can't remember if I sold the ones I had. If not, I'll just go on and add quantity six, and then I'll have three uh, packs. So that'll make it easier. But these are exactly like the other ones that I had. So, yeah. Nice little find. These were in a bag for $2.99. So 60 cents off. I have a couple of uh, plants that are having babies. So I saw this cute... Uh, pot for $2.49. It's got that wood look. So there's that. I just saw that and thought it was adorable. Yes, it is a lemon, a ceramic lemon, for no reason other than why not. Um, I also got this for beans. It was $1.99. See, I'll trim those off, and then when the ears eventually go, we'll just sew them. But I had this bag over here on the floor, and she took it out. I had another puff, we call them puffies now, because when she pulls all the little puffies out, so we say, where's your puffy? And she's getting to know that that's what these are. So yeah, she's already got the one, so my husband took the tags off and gave it to her. It's already minus its ears, that's the first thing to go. I saw this and thought my daughter would like it. She likes cats, 
and she likes the uh, you know that type of animation so it was only 99 cents and it's just a lined little book I showed it to her this morning and she's like yay and started to take it I said no and she goes let me guess you have to do a video <laughs> Um, I got two more cork boxes, cork cages, same thing. They had a hole in the top. Um, I think one, this one was $3.99, this one was $2.99. This one says, all you need is love and a bottle of wine. And then this one says, making memories one cork at a time. So yeah, you just drop them in there. And it's pretty cool. Aren't they cute? I know the cages, the ones that look like a cage or, you know, those are all in different styles. Those do really well. Um, I got, I don't know, I just can't say no to this pottery. I had a, um, a yarn bowl. If you don't know what that is, you could look it up. I think this would do really well for it because I busted mine. So that was $2.49. Uh, saw this for $1.50. It is a real cool container. I'm going to put some uh, Lucky Bamboo in there to sell. Uh, actually, that's my daughter's. I'm going to put that in her room. <laughs> this, I tried to look it up, but I was in too big of a hurry. It says Wedding Planner. But it's this nice, nice little planner. Nothing, of course, is written in it. Comes in a very cute box. I knew I shouldn't have done that with the lid. Hang on, I'm going to set you down. Because I was like, mm, for that price, I could take a chance. Goodness gracious, this box does not. There we go. Okay, so here's the back. $2.49. So, yeah, I just love the box. Wedding planner. My son is getting married, uh, and his and his fiance Kara. Uh, they are getting married in September, like the third week of September. So, this is too late for her to use. But the place where they're having the wedding is also having the reception. They also do all their flowers. They also do all the food, and decorations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So a lot of their planning was pretty easy and they're having a very small wedding so I will definitely share some photos with you as long as they're okay with it um, but they're going to be just an absolutely handsome couple on their wedding day I'm so excited I, I'm you know I'm thinking about all the stuff I'm going to do but I'm probably going to be bawling my eyes out most of the day because <laughs> you know I have the feels I got one piece of fabric it's pretty it's got this African kind of print on it and it was only $2.99. There's probably two yards there, I think. This is really cute little catch-all for jewelry. Or you could put, you know, uh, your coins there. Uh, idea Market. So this was probably, yeah, Joanne Fabrics. So I paid $1.99. Very cute with the little key. I like that. It's very adorable. Don't have a use for it myself. Yes, I stood there and debated on these. I've sold enamel wear in the past. Um, I'll have to price it. I don't come across it as much. But I thought for $5.99, there's seven pieces here. <clears throat> so there's two of the mugs. This huge bowl. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Wouldn't that be great for like even like display. Oh, love it. And then these bowls or plates, I guess you could say. But, oh, they're just so pretty. I like the blue and white and I like the red and white. So that's one, two, three, four of those. So I will look it up and see what it goes for online. If it's not a lot, again, I'll just put it in my booth. Um, I mean, it's nice to sell, you know, certain things. If you don't have a display, uh, specific for it. I could put stuff in it, but then when somebody buys it, they just kind of dump everything, which, you know, it's the job. I get it. Um, I found some, I don't know if you consider these candle holders, but they have this, this metal, uh, holder. And then these just slide down in it up to about the halfway mark. So these were $2.99 each. Oh, so, I don't know, you could put fake flowers, you could put, I'm sure, a candle or something in there. So, not sure how I'm going to display those quite yet, but man, for that price, I just couldn't pass them up. They're really unique. And I will sell them as a set, just because it's easier that way. And if somebody wants one, somebody else may not want one, and it may sit there forever. So, that's 
That's my thinking. These are so cool. I usually don't buy a lot of candle holders, but these are just such a heavy glass. I don't really see any markings on them. I will look them up. The cool thing about these is they have a place for a candle, like a tapered candle, and then you could turn them over and put either a tea light or a votive in there. Isn't that neat? I just thought even if you did a mix of that, it would be so cool. And these were $2.99 each, and I got five of them. So what, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, and then 20% off. So what, two, three dollars off? So yeah, not too bad. So I don't know. I mean, if it was an even amount, I could do three and three, or I could do two, two, and two. But at this point, I don't think that's going to work. And I kind of want to stage them a couple with maybe a tea light and then a couple with a taper candle just so people understand. So, I don't know. Do you think I should just sell those all together or should I sell them individually? I don't know. So I haven't decided on that yet, but I just couldn't put that, pass them up. Like I said, they are solid, heavy. And since they're clear and they ha they're versatile, it's just really cool. And I think that they will do well. So I don't know. I'll probably, if I do them individually, I'll probably put seven bucks on each of them. You think? Seven or eight? But yeah, I mean, that's cool that it's two different ways. A lot of candles uh, holders are like that. So if you see one, try to turn it upside down. <laughs> So that is all that I got. I hope you enjoyed this video uh, uh, and haul. I got some more information and news. I want to do a chitty chat video. I don't know if you've seen it yet or not. I'm just so behind because the baby needs a lot of attention and I'm trying to get my work done and I had a restocking day at the store. So it's a lot going on. So I'm just trying to get my house organized and keep food on the table at this point. I'm trying to clean, but it's just, it's a whole lot of everything. So whatever, you know what? I don't worry about it too much because I eventually catch up. I just try not to put too much pressure on myself because this job is a never ending flow of stuff. <laughs> So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. If you're new here, I'm glad that you stopped in and listened to me yippity yak. Um, also consider subscribing. Click the notification bell so you get alerts whenever I post a video or I go live. So uh, I guess that's it. Again, my social media is down in the description box and my snail mail as well. And I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.